This will be a quick walkthrough of how I've set up HOTAS controllers to work with No Man's Sky. I'm using a utility called Universal Control Remapper, which I won't get into the installation of. There's several uh, very informative videos on YouTube, and the link to the download I'll include to the GitHub page in the description below. The basic concept of this is merging uh, multiple controllers, the stick and the throttle, and rudder pedals in this case, and merging them into a virtual Xbox 360 controller. The plugin Vigem, I think, needs to also be installed. There's a link on the GitHub page for that as well. So I created a No Man's Sky profile as we see here on the side. Uh, you would do that simply by clicking this button here. On the left hand side is the input devices and on the right is the output devices. To add a input device, simply click the plus, find the device that you want to include in this, check it off, and hit add. As we see here, I have my throttle and my stick and my rudder pedals. Over here, they will be merged and rendered out to the Xbox 360 virtual controller. I will double click into the profile and we'll see the configurations. On the left hand side we see a bunch of different modifiers that we can utilize. We can take one joystick's axis and apply it to the virtual joystick's axis, merge multiple axes, split an axis into multiple axis, etc as well as button mapping, axis to button, and button to button. Over here, I'll slowly scroll through how I have it set up. I have the pitch control of the throttle and stick. But as we see here, in this case, the x-axis is not being utilized, as it, this says click to bind. So what we're doing is we're taking the y-axis of my X56 Rhino stick and assigning it to this virtual Y axis of the Xbox 360 controller, which is the left Y axis. So to assign an axis, you can click on this button and then move the actual stick and it should identify it, or you can click on these three dots and specify it here. Same thing would be done over here, though with the virtual, you don't really have the option of clicking the stick as it doesn't exist. So you would click on the triple dots, choose the axis you want to map to, and select it from here. You have the ability to adjust dead zone sensitivity and curves, etc. down here. So as we see here, this was an axis to axis, so I would have selected plus here, generated a new axis to axis for pitch. Go into the throttle. I use the axis splitter, which is this one right here. Press plus. So using the X axis of my X56 Rhino throttle, I assigned it to the left trigger and right trigger of the virtual Xbox 360 controller. So We, we can see anything from the upper range of the throttle will control the left trigger and the lower range, the right trigger. I left a dead zone of five so it wouldn't keep fluttering back and forth between left and right trigger. Moving down was an axis to button for roll. So axis to button, press plus, chose the X axis of my stick and that is being utilized as the virtual right and left bumpers for the virtual Xbox 360 controller. And I left a pretty wide dead zone of 80 there. So that would require far stick movement to have the roll activated. As far as the yaw goes, that was an axis merger for my rudder pedals. So I selected my rudder pedals from the actual devices and 
My left and right sliders were specified here for the left and right pedals. And on the virtual controller, the left X axis was used. I wound up having to invert it on this one. You may or may not have to, dependent on your configuration. Experiment, obviously, if the R is heading in the wrong direction, play with the different inversions and it should work for you. Using the boost button, I chose a button on my throttle to the B button of the virtual controller to land and exit the ship. I did a button to button configuration again over here, button to button. I chose a different button on my stick and I associate that with the X button on the virtual controller. The fire button was my main trigger on my stick associated with the A button on the virtual controller. To choose weapon mode, I used another button on my stick and associated that with the Y button on the virtual controller. Scan, I chose button three on the stick and left stick click for the uh, virtual controller. There was a POV on my stick and I associated that with the D-pad up. Similar here for the D-pad down, D-pad left, D-pad right. The back button was another button on the stick and that's associated with the back button, of course, on the virtual controller. And the pulse drive was a, uh, uh, a pedal button. Um, actually, when I say rudder pedals, my um, pedal configuration is actually a, uh, a setup that I use both for racing cars and for rudders. And it has a middle pedal for, uh, for brake in this case. So that middle pedal I utilized and uh, that's what I use to trigger the pulse. And I associated that with the right stick click. So everyone's configuration is going to be different. Um, you likely won't have exactly the same accessories as I do. Hopefully this will get you started and give you an idea of how to associate these things. If you have questions, reach out in the comment section and I'll do my best to try to offer some advice. Good luck and take care.